Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request today, continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Jackie for health issues. Pray for Teresa and her niece's family. Um, her niece, Angie, was taken off life support and pray for comfort and peace for them. Okay. Um, Colleen would like us to pray for our upcoming election. And also pray for Colleen. She has an opportunity to move in a smaller house and would be a good move for her. Kathleen is having an iron infusion done soon. Pray all goes well and that it improves her health. Kim's Aunt Barbara passed away. Pray for peace and comfort for the family. Joyce is having knee surgery on 918. That was yesterday, I guess. I pray all went well and for a speedy recovery. Okay. <clears throat> pray for Kay Reeves. And let us know uh, how Joyce, if, if it was Joyce that gave us this or whoever gave us, let us know how Joyce did uh, in that because it's, it's already, she's already had it by now. Okay, so uh, pray for Kay Reeves for housing in God's timing. And pray for Pablo. He is in the hospital fighting for his life. Okay. All right, and our scripture of the day comes from Psalm. I believe it is 16. Okay. 16. Uh, keep me safe, my Lord, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out libations of blood to such gods or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me even at night. My heart instructs me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled, Finding Wise Joy. The pandemic was winning. That's how it looked to Jason Persoff, an emergency room doctor at a large hospital committed to saving patients with COVID. How could he give his best? During off hours, he relaxed by taking enlarged photos of something small, individual, snowf individual snowflakes. It sounds crazy, says Dr. Persoth, but finding joy in something small but beautiful is an opportunity to bond with my creator and also see the world in a way that few people take the time to notice. Wisely looking for such joy to ease stress and build resilience is a high value in the medical profession, the doctor said. But for everyone, he has this advice. You've got to breathe. You have got to find a way to take a breath and enjoy life. David the psalmist expressed his this thought in Psalm 16 as he declared the wisdom of finding joy in God. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup, he wrote. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. There are many unwise things people do as they try to decompress. Dr. Persaw found the wise path, one that pointed him to the Creator who offers us the joy of his presence. You make known to me the path of life you will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. In him we find joy evermore. How does finding wise joy bless your life? 
As you read Psalm 16, how can it inspire you to name the ways you find joy in God? In my life's journey, O God, please bless me wisely, find joy that starts with you. Please bless me too wisely, find joy that starts with you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I was having a little trouble reading. I got some floaters floating around. <laughs> they, sometimes they're worse than others. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you have a great morning, and I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.